I don't believe we've had the pleasure of your company before, Mr. Salas. Will Salas. Philippe Weiss. You must come from time. You could say I'm gambling my inheritance. You don't have a garden, Mr. Salas? I assumed I was amongst friends. Bet you 50 years. You must be young. When you've been 25 for 85 years like I have, and knowing only a random act of violence can take your life, you learn to appreciate what you have. And you seem to have a lot to appreciate. I call. Of course, some think what we have is unfair. The time difference between zones. I've heard that. But isn't this just the next logical step in our evolution? And hasn't evolution always been unfair? It's always been survival of the fittest. Raise you another two centuries. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, or Ka Kodash, forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. As you see in the clip before, that is the movie, a clip from a movie, The End Time, came out some years ago. Uh, it's a good movie to watch. And basically, they're buying time to live forever. Okay, as you see, they have a code or barcode, whatever, in their hand, and it allows them to buy time, okay, to live forever, man, to be immortal. All right? to stay in their youth. As you see the father in that clip, the father and the daughter look the same age. Okay. But really they're a lot older than that. I forgot how old they said in the movie, but they were a lot older, but they stayed within that youth. Okay. Because they were able to buy immortality. Well, we are fighting for immortality and it's going to be given to us. Okay. As Hebrew Israelites, and that's special so that we can stay within our youth, within our prime for eternity. See, we ain't got to make it a movie. We ain't got to, <laughs> you know, it's a reality for us. And that's the problem with all these heathens, especially Esau, that they have. OK, with this gospel, with this good news, because that's good news. OK, so I make a couple points. Let's go to second edges, chapter two, start at verse 40. It says, take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white. Talk about the elect, okay, being sealed with the knowledge, all right, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. The number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed. I edges saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the mix of them, there was a young man of high stature. That's talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay. And keep in mind, highlight that young man part. All right. Taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So at the beginning of 43, it says, and in the mix of them, there was a young man of high stature. Now that's talking about Yahweh Shai. Now key word is young man. Now, this is when we get saved, when the elect get saved and Yahweh Shah comes a second time. OK, but he's been gone for over 2000 years, man. OK, around 2000 years, going all the way back to the Roman Empire. So how is Yahweh Shah still being looked at as a young man? <laughs> because he is still in his youth, even though it's been 2000 years, man. Think about that, man. That is immortality right there for you, man. That's a clue that we're going to be in our youth forever, man. Okay. In our prime, so to speak. Okay. I'm talking about a little kid. I'm talking about in our prime. Okay. Young, but ripe. Okay. And we're going to be in that youth for eternity because why come Yahweh Shah has not aged to be an old man? Edris is seeing Yahweh Shah as a young man. 
That's why he said, young man. You don't think edges know what a young man looks like? Okay. <laughs> Let's read it again. And in the mix of them, there was a young man of high stature. Right. He was taller than all the rest. Okay. He was in his prime, in his youth. Okay. And he was talking about Yahweh Shai. But like I said, it's been 2,000 years. So he's still in this youth. So going back to that movie in time, they want to be that way, man. Okay. They want to be like that. They want to be forever in their youth and immortality because that is immortality, man. Okay. Because when you age, all right, to the point where you 60, 70, you know, you're aging to die. Okay. Your body is decaying. Okay. But we're going to have immortal bodies, man. Okay. Not corruptible bodies. All right. Our body is not going to corrupt. So it's going to stay within this beauty of prime, but in immortality. And that's going to be special, man. Okay. And to prove that furthermore, to prove it furthermore, let's go into Mark chapter 16, verse one. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome had bought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came into the sepulcher at the rising of the sun. And they said among themselves, who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulcher? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. And entering into the sepulcher, they saw a young man sitting on the right hand side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were frightened. Right, man. So an angel of the Lord, okay, one of your house brothers, okay, one of the heavenly hosts, had a long garment on, all right, and she called him a young man. Let's read it again. And entering into the sepulcher, they saw a young man, a young man. Now, let's go into young man in this scripture in the blue letter. Strong's G, 3495, Neoniskos, Neoniskos. Okay, it says a young man, youth. <laughs> so the angels, Yahweh Shai, are in their youth. Okay, immortality, not aging, heavenly body, perfect, man. Okay, you know when you say somebody in a prime, and you can tell when they're not in their prime anymore, meaning at their best, in a mortal state at your best. Okay, and then you get to your best. And then you end up leaving your best because you start to age because we are in mortal bodies. We are incorruptible bodies. That's why we age out of our youth, out of our prime. OK, even when a young man is like a kid, man, they'll say, OK, well, you know what? He's not filled in yet. You know, he's not filled in into his prime body yet. OK, that's what they say about a boy who's, you know, seven, eight, nine, you know, 11. You know, he still has to fill out. But then when he gets about 16, 17, maybe 18, okay, 20, whatever, et cetera, et cetera, he starts to fill out. And they say, okay, that's a man, okay? And he's a young man, okay? A full man in his youth, all right? But like I said, in this mortal state, we start to grow out of it. Then you look at pictures, <laughs> how you used to look, how you used to be. <laughs> now you're all jacked up, man. Your hairline gone. You know, you got wrinkles. Maybe you gained some weight. OK, you're not in your youth anymore. You're not in your prime. OK, but like I just read, this is talking about an angel of the Lord here, man. So Edris saw Yahweh Shai and called him a young man. Mary Magdalene. OK, and Mary saw the angel and called him a young man. OK, that's no coincidence. That's because they don't age. Yahweh Shai stays in his prime for eternity. The angels stay in their prime for eternity immortality man that is special that is special now let's go to proverbs chapter 20 verse 29 the glory of young men is their strength and we're going to have that man like young lions like a lion in his prime you know what a lion looks like in his prime man they're very lively you know full of energy don't get tired you know same thing with us. We're going to be full of energy for eternity, man. Okay? No weaknesses whatsoever, man. No getting old and curling up and, you know, maybe you could have ran 
fast in one year and then years go by. Now you're running slower. No, we ain't going to have that issue because we're going to have immortal bodies. So let's read it again. The glory of young man is their strength. We're going to have that for eternity. Now, the second part of this verse and the beauty of old man is the gray hair. Right. The gray head. Now, check this out. Yahweh Shah has white woolly hair like his father, Yahweh. He has that hair, man. But he's not old in body. But in spirit, they are the oldest. <laughs> Check that out. In spirit, they are the oldest, man. Okay? The beginning. All right? That's what Yahweh Shai said in John, I think, 17 chapter. Give me the glory that I had with thee at the beginning, man. So physically, they don't get old because they are immortal. And we're going to receive that. Okay? But they had that white woolly hair, man. Man, that's beautiful, man. Think about that, man. They have white woolly hair in this youth. Straight beautiful, man. So the point is made through the spirit, man. We are not going to age. We are going to be in our prime, man. Okay. The only aging is going to be is from a baby aging to the prime. And then we're going to be in our prime for eternity. Okay. We're going to be a full age of prime. And we're going to have that for eternity, man. Beauty forever. So with that, I want to give our praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahshai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash, forgive me, Spirit, to do this lesson. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to your Akamath that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.